Hey guys, it's Carly here for MFT, and today I wanted to share with you some Valentines that I added a little fluffy texture to. I'm starting with a card panel that has a light pencil line drawn right down the middle to help me know where to position this hinged heart window. I'm just going to secure it with a little bit of low-tech tape and run it through my die cut machine. I'm erasing that pencil line and then I'm going to add a sentiment underneath the heart. I'm using a sentiment from Our Love is the Balm set and I only want to use part of it. So I'm going to do a little bit of really easy masking with a piece of masking tape over the part that I don't want to ink up and stamp. And I'm also going to test it out of my card panel before I commit and really stamp it. So I've got a piece of acetate to go over my die cut panel in my Misty. And that way I can stamp it on the acetate first and practice. So I'm going to ink up that stamp with the tape in place. Then I'm going to remove the tape, stamp it on the acetate, and make sure I like the placement of the stamp. And since I'm happy with that placement, I don't have to make any changes. If I wasn't happy, I could try that whole thing again and make sure I like it, but I'm pretty happy. So I'm just gonna wipe off that acetate, get it out of the way, and then do that whole masking and stamping thing again, but this time directly onto my die cut panel. Using the tape on my stamps for the easy masking is one of my favorite ways to customize stamps, and I do it all the time. I love it. Next, I wanna add a little bit of color to that hinged heart. If I had a same size heart die cut, I could cover it up, but I'll show you why I don't need one. So I've got a little piece of scratch paper underneath that hinged heart window, and I'm going to use a blending tool to add some Distress Oxide color on top. And to create the full heart shape on the other side where the hinge is, I've die cut it again from a piece of scratch paper. I'm flipping it over, and I'm gonna use it as a stencil. So I'm gonna grab my blending tool again, with that scrap paper still in place and with a lot of pressure because I didn't tape it down, I'm going to add a little bit more ink with my blending tool. And that gives me that full heart shape. So I'm finished with the card front and now I need to get to the fluffy texture part. So I've got some scraps of tissue paper, a bunch of different colors, not very exact sizes, not very nice clean edges, but it totally doesn't matter. I'm gonna grab a glue pen, I'm gonna put a little line of glue down one side and glue the next one on top. Then I'm gonna repeat that process until I've got the whole stack of tissue glued together like a little book. So when all is said and done, I have about 28 layers of tissue paper, and I actually think my die cut machine could have handled more, which you'll see what I'm talking about in a second. But just try it on your die cut machine and see what works for you. So I'm gonna let this stack dry for just a minute before I die cut it, but then I'm gonna position that die cut where the glue line is. So where that hinge is is going to be where they're all glued together run it through my die cut machine, and then I've got this little fluffy stack of hearts. Now when you die cut tissue paper, it does kind of compress the layers together, so you kind of have to go in and carefully um, pull them apart. So then I'm just gonna take my little fluffy stack of hearts and I'm gonna put it behind where the heart window is going to be on my card panel, and just use a little bit of strong tape on that hinge to hold it down. And then I'm gonna use the same tape to adhere that finished card front to my folded card. I like to put the tape on and then pull the release paper off halfway so that I can finish pulling it when I'm putting it together and make sure everything is lined up and super straight because I used to be the queen of crooked card fronts. And here's what the card looks like when it's finished. See, even when it's folded, it's got that cute fluffy rainbow texture peeking out. Because this heart window die has that hinge, it's just the perfect die for this technique. It's so easy, and this is just a fun way to add an interesting element to a really simple card design. Now, if you don't have a hinge die, you can also do this with a regular die if you use a partial die cutting technique. So I've got the X and the O from the Love Icon set, and I've got some pencil lines again on my paper. I've got one down the middle again, and then I've got one across the top, and that is where I'm going to want my die cut to stop cutting. So let me show you what I mean. So I've got my die secured with a little bit of low-tech tape, but then I'm not gonna just run it through my die cut machine. I'm going to grab my cutting plates, and I'm going to position that top one along the line that we drew across through the X and the O. So then I'm going to run it through my die cut machine like that, and that way it will only partially die cut that X and the O. It will only cut the top part where I've got both plates. So here you can see what I mean. So I've got the top of that X and the top of that O, and I want them to kind of fold forward. So I'm gonna grab my scoring board and I'm gonna score across that line. Now in retrospect, I really only need to score the across the X and across the O, not my whole card panel. <laughs> so if you make this card, don't do the whole line, just do across the X and across the O so it will fold forward nicely. 
Now next I want to add a little bit of color so that X and the O really stand out, but I don't have to make a stencil and ink blend this time because I have the full die cut. So I'm just going to grab some ink blended paper so it matches and run it through so I have the full X and the O to adhere on top. And then I'm going to finish that card front with the little sentiment from the Itty Bitty Love Note set. And then I'm ready for the fluffy texture part. So then I ran the X and the O die through my die cut machine with that little book of tissue paper. I put the bottom of the die over the glue line so that all the letters would stay together. And I had a few more layers of tissue paper this time so it didn't cut quite as cleanly, but it was okay. It was easy to adjust with my scissors and kind of make up for it. And then of course I just adhered the X and the O on the back of that card front where they are going to peek out through the partial X and O die cut that we did. And then I put the whole thing onto a folded card. Easy peasy. And here you can see the finished card. I love the tissue paper pinging out. I think it's just fun and silly. And I'm trying to decide what die cut I'm going to do it with next. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you were inspired to craft today and I hope to see you here again soon. Have a great day and happy crafting.